Hi, for this recording, we are given a six-pointed star with vertices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are going to list one cyclic subgroup of G of each possible order. First of all, the symmetry group G consists of six rotation and six reflection as listed on the table in our earlier solution. Now, what does it mean by a cyclic subgroup of G? First of all, based on John Fairline's text, a first cause in abstract algebra, page 59. If G is a group and A is an element of G, then H consists of A power N when N belongs to a set of integer is a cyclic subgroup generated by A. They are all degree 12 elements. To find cyclic subgroup of G, what you do is take each element and look at what is the order of the element, then you can find the cyclic subgroup generated by each element. For example, if I take R, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then order of R is 6, since R is a 6 cycle. Then the cyclic subgroup generated by R will consist of R, R square, R cube, R fourth, R fifth, R six, which is E now. Now that is actually the entire rotation group. Similarly, R power five is also a six cycle. So the order of R power five is also six. Therefore, the subgroup generated by R power five and the subgroup generated by R is also six. Now let's look at another element, R square. R square is one three five. 2, 4, 6, consists of 2, 3 cycle. So the order R square is 3 because order R square which is the LCM of 3, 3, which is 3, as each of them is a 3 cycle. So therefore, the cyclic subgroup generated by R square consists of R square, the square R square, the cube R square where the QR square is E now, so you have R square, R4, and E. The subgroup generated by R square is given by this. Similarly, R4 is also consists of a product of two, three cycle, so the order R4 is three. So the size of the cyclic subgroup generated by R4 and R square are all three. Now let's look at the cyclic subgroup generated by RQ. RQ is an element 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6. So order RQ is 2 since LCM of 2, 2, 2 is 2. So the cyclic subgroup generated by R3 is RQ, RQ square, which is E. So get 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6, and E. Last but not least, the order of E is 1. So the cyclic subgroup generated by E is just one element E. And so, so the size of the subgroup generated by E is 1. Now how about reflection? Now for all the reflection, the order of each reflection is 2. So for example, mu1 is 2635. Order of mu1 will be LCM of 2, 2, which is 2. So the subgroup generated by mu has two elements. And so, the order of the subgroup generated by mu1 is 2. So, we have list out at least one possible subgroup of each order. Last part says that state with justification whether G is cyclic. Since all cyclic subgroups of G are of order 1, 2, 3, and 6, now, since the subgroup generated by E has order 1, the subgroup generated by RQ has order 2, the subgroup generated by R square has order 3, the subgroup generated by R has order 6. 
Now there's no circuit circle for order 12 and G has order 12. So G is not cyclic. That is the end of the recording.